Hello, John Britt here. Today we're going to make this side handle teapot. Uh, I'm going to have to go quick because it's going to take a little while. So we're going to start with about two and a half pounds of clay here. And I'll, uh, try, I'll try to show you a few ways to do it pretty easily. So first thing I'm going to do is center this. And what I'm going to do is Try to get this uh, width, the width of my teapot. So then I'm going to open. Normally, then I would measure, see how deep it is. Smooth out the bottom here. This is like what you always do. And I'm going to pull in. I'm going to leave this part here kind of fat. And just for speed's sake, I'm going to stop right there. Uh, this is, I would probably do a little more stuff. But now what I'm going to do is um, make these walls pretty straight. And then all I'm going to do is lay this all sort of down. Now I'll, I'll take a rib like this. You know, you could either, you could use a, uh, a metal rib, you know, make it how make it however um, small you want. I have you know been measuring them to be about this wide with my calipers. So then what I do is I'll take this little rib as um, a filed down wooden tool, and all I do is put a little water on there and push that down. That makes my flange. Okay, then that's pretty much it. I would get a line under there and then get that set aside. Now what I want to do is I need to make a couple of spout. I need to make a lid with a handle. So I'll start with a lid handle. Uh, and I'll just come in here like this. Take my same wooden tool. These don't have to be... What I try to do is make a, a bunch of them so that I can have a variety to pick from. So if you look over here, you can see I have a bunch of them made and then I have a bunch of different lid sizes. So I'm going to make that right now. We'll make the lid. Uh, sometimes the way I do the lid, pretty easy. One easy way is just to take this wooden knife tool and just press it down. And then I'll take my calipers and see, okay, I need a little wider. So I'll push down a little more. And then I'll come in with this, this edge and just cut it up. So see how you can real quickly and easily make some lids? And then I can put that handle on top. Now I want to make, uh, what I'm going to make is this. This is the handle for, for, and it's a hollow cylinder. So I just use the same hunk of clay. I'm going to go down. And then when I get up to the top here, I'm going to close it off. But for now, Okay. So then what you have to do is determine your height and you're going to determine if you want this to come straight up, if you want it to angle out or whatever you want it to do. Uh, and then what I'll do is probably take, I try to collar this in some. Sometimes I'll come in with my fingers here like this and, or I'll come in just with a wooden knife tool. Sort of choke that off. And then, so right then, right when I get right here, when it's almost closed, I just slowly let that pinch off. And now that's closed. And then I'll, you know, make the, make whatever shape or design I want. And I'm doing this quick so you can see, but you'll practice that a little. 
Then I just cut that off. And I'll set that here where you can see the other ones that I've, I've done. Um, okay, so now I need to make a spout. And so I also make a variety of those. So I'll just... That, that we, the one thing we want about that is to have a nice, neat top here. So... Usually push that out a little and then come in. Then when I get to the top here, I usually will run my needle there so I get it sharp and uh, nice. Okay, and then sometimes, depending on what I want, I can just rub, run this, this tool down. That'll give me a nice taper. Okay, and then I'll, a lot of times here I just cut under a little and then cut this whole slab off. And that helps hold it steady without uh, warping it. Okay, so now that we've done, now we have all our parts. So now we'll come over here. Uh, oh, well, let me just show you one more thing that I'm going to do. When I have this completed, what I need to do is now trim it. And so what I've done here is I have a chuck that I've already centered and um, and I have I'm going to put this on here so this is already centered pretty good then I'll put this on here what I mainly want to do is make sure get the height if it's it's going to it's going to be centered this way but th this may be uneven so I'll hold my finger here until it touches it and now it's now I have to slightly move that down a little Okay, and then I'll start trimming. Sometimes I'll, I put on this little cap, makes it easy for me to uh, not press through the bottom. Uh, sometimes I don't do that, but just so you, if you ever wanted to. And then I'll just trim this and make it, you know, make it nice. So you can see that. Now we'll come over here. And I'll finish up what I've got now that I've got my jar. If this does not, if my lid, like I'll make a bunch of lids. Some won't fit and some will. If it doesn't fit, I may take this Stanley Sure form and just, you know, gently come around here, clean it up a little. Then it fits good. Okay, so that's my lid is good there. Then what I'm going to do is figure out my my spout and a lot of times I'll have spouts like this that like you can see how I've laid them on and what I do is just come in and now finish cutting that off um, and it's, it's pretty pretty good in stiffness and, and I don't even necessarily have to um, always I can almost smush that on there. Sometimes you can cut this back uh, or you can smush it and just you can fit it up here if you want. It depends on where you want it to be but on this one I decided that I could just smush that on there like that and that would be fine. So then I once I do that I'll dip this in water and touch it on there and wherever the mark is I will come and score with this little scoring tool I'm going to score that and get that. And then what I'm doing here really is like I'm creating like a slip there uh, to connect it. And I'll make sure that this is scored well. And then I'll just put that on there. And what I'll do is then, well, I've cut that hole. You saw that I cut the hole prior to this. So sometimes now I'll just let that be for a while and let it. Uh, sit up and get stiff so I don't smush everything. Now I'll do the same thing with this. I'll figure out what my angle wants to be. Does it, you know, does it want to be up here or does it want to be here? Does it want to be on the body of the thing? I mean, you got to decide that. Some people will make these um, and have them so that the handle is will set the, te the teapot up like this. So they'll make it hollow this way. But in my case, this time I'm doing it 
this way. So I think mine will go about right there. So I just mark it, score it, score this, and then connect them. So I just connect this on here, get my thing right, and then, then I'm good to go. And then the last thing I'll do is put my lid on, and I will usually, uh, like I'll, if it's going to sit on here, just say that was it, I would find a, a top that would fit it, and then do the same thing as always, you know, just get in there and score these. Sometimes you have to trim um, the lid, and sometimes you have to, like I will take one of, say this, I'll take this and I might have to cut back in there, cut some of that out so that it'll fit properly. But anyway, so that's it. So then that's our little uh, teapot. So you make about, uh, make about five of those and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, thank you.